So the nanoplastics and microplastics were analyzed in water bottles. So bottled water is the worst probably to drink. Now, the criticism then is, and this a lot of questions came up about this, what about even a reverse osmosis filter having plastic components within the filter cartridge or the lines, right, that go from the filter to the sink? Again, there's, sure, there's some there as well, but I think it's much less present. We, first of all, we're using cold water. It's you know, not stored for very long periods of time. It keeps flowing through there. And what I always uh, recommend to do is if it's been sitting for a while, you know, just uh, let it run for a little bit, about half a glass to one glass, just to flush out the filter. And most of the stuff that sits there, you know, all the uh, plastic chemicals or microplastics, nanoplastics that possibly are in there, uh, most of them will get flushed out. I still think that's the best solution for drinking water. Um, again, if you get go with glass bottles, bottled water, fine, maybe that helps, but it's very cumbersome and expensive. I think the cheapest and best solution is a reverse osmosis filter for the house.